Hi, this is Pradeep. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to explain our uh, SAP Fiori, which is our new technology and our traditional GUI. So let's move into the PPT to understand this concept in better way. So first we have to understand what is SAP Fiori. I'm sure you must be uh, aware of, on this concept. You are using SAP Fiori since a long period. So SAP Fiori is the cloud-based latest interface, which is specially developed in our HANA technology or in S4 HANA technology on HANA database. And SAP is saying that, that it is new user experience to process or to analyze or to, to perform all the day-to-day -day transactions are there. So whenever you log into SAP screen, you will find a flower screen will be there. So here uh, the word Fiori means it is flower. And uh, when you will open the SAP Fiori homepage or the application, you will see the picture of the flower is there because in uh, Italian language, Fiori means flower. So that is why they have given this uh, name. And particularly here you will find it is developed in UI5, that launchpad. And you will see here multiple apps like like in a mobile we have different applications are there for different activities similarly here we have the different apps are there so if we we'll compare this one with our uh, traditional gui so in traditional gui everything we are accessing through the transaction codes uh, which is comparatively difficult to understand from the user point of view they have to understand so many technical things they have to uh, get familiarity with this uh, technical uh, concepts like posting keys documents uh, so many things are there in that particular screen whereas and that means user end user training is highly required whereas the fury is much more uh, easily or it is a easy interface so that any user with basic knowledge they can use it so that's why uh, here for every activities we have uh, the tiles are there just like in mobile we have applications are there here you will find different tiles are there in your dashboard so that is how it is uh, you can say look and feel of this uh, fury as well as the gui right so <clears throat> Uh, business point of view, we'll see if it is, as I said, it is developed on SAP UI5, which is the development tool which is used here and web technologies like you will find here, HTML, then CSS, uh, uh, JavaScript. So here, like uh, all these technologies are used to develop the Fury application. And SAP released number of versions till now on SAP uh, Fury till from that means from the beginning so many versions are there and uh, the first version was of course 1.0 which was released in 2013 late 2013 2014 you can say when Fury was uh, introduced you can say that SAP Fury is the replacement of our traditional screen that blue screen which we are much more familiar from the beginning we are using that one so this is the replacement and whatever the user activities are there with our GUI so everything we can perform through the Fiori like user we uh, through GUI user point of view if we'll compare that means we are uh, uh, perform different transactions we can post different document we can create master records we can perform all the uh, we can pull the report so these are the activities we are doing through the GUI so everything is possible in Fiori in fact in Fiori you are going to have some more options are there okay so SAP ERP that means the old one that is the GUI based technology or it was uh, on GUI because in SAP ERP we don't have the Fiori normally and Fiori is available with your S4 HANA so it is a, a GUI is a traditional way of connecting to your SAP server and uh, Fiori is the new feature and there are different type of applications Fiori apps are there but before that let's move into the Fiori screen and uh, let's see how it look and feel is there. Now you can see this is my dashboard and here you can see multiple uh, applications are there for different type of so here uh, if we will segregate these different applications you will find the transaction apps are there you will find the analytical apps are there and fact sheets are there so transaction apps means it is self-explanatory that means transaction apps means for every normal operation we can manage with this so you can find these transaction apps like posting your jv your uh, normal postings your uh, any document postings any purchase order creation sales order creation so these are the operational activities we can which we can use here fury uh, for those activities for normal operation point of view okay so here if i will go to this uh, journal entries 
so you can see here different activities are there so uh, in upcoming videos i am going to show you different applications by uh, doing the demonstration but in this video just a overview so here you can see different applications are there for multiple activities i can post the journal entries i can post outgoing invoice i can post any incoming payment so these are the normal transactions uh, transaction applications are there so there are other category of applications are there those are known as your analytical apps nothing but you can say report point of view so here through this app analytical apps we have bars are there charts are there okay so we can have uh, that means a graphical presentation of in informations also possible so this fury analytical apps that means user analyze and monitor the data the financial data the uh, logistic data so it is much more user friendly and in fact you can say the reports are available directly without doing anything because if once the transactions will be posted everything then you can use the fury applications suppose i want to see anything related to assets so we can use uh, those uh, analytical apps the third one is your fact sheets so the fact sheets is like it is going to give you a quick view and immediate information so it's like just you search here in the global parameter you search your company code so everything related to that company code you are going to get here so that is related to fact view unfortunately today's uh, this one is not working so um, very soon in next video i am going to show you different applications so you are going to get a complete information your contextual informations navigation between from information to information so those informations will be available through the fact so <clears throat> this is the first video Video in the fury series and uh, uh, in future we are going to create different master records through fury uh, transactions we will post and uh, we will also see different applications are there so if we summarize we have three type of applications are there so in fury we can perform everything whatever earlier it was there through gy and we have uh, applications transaction apps are there we have uh, analytical apps are there transaction apps are normal operation point of view and analytical apps are related to our reports and transaction apps that uh, sorry the fact sheets are that means everything in one single window everything in one single screen you are going to get that is your fact sheet so if i want to see uh, one particular if you link this one uh, click here you will get another window so that that is going to help you in more way so basically this uh, this is my home screen where you can see multiple uh, apps are there as per my authorization and here user authorization is very important because uh, as per the user's role and responsibility this fury applications will be provided and uh, this authorizations will be provided and accordingly they are going to have uh, th those access to those areas so this is a quick overview on fury and uh, gui no need to show so already you have uh, the idea about the gui so this is my gui where i can log into my screen if i will click here let me log off this one okay so here this is my gui okay uh, through the login access through the login credentials i can log into the screen and uh, as per my authorization i can perform this activity so this is our traditional system where i can perform all the user in end user activities i can create master data and another good thing that here we have the img access so if you are the consultant and if you are the developer then you have the configuration rights are also there where we can do the configuration so which is not possible in case of fury normally we have few configuration options are there but uh, normally fury we are using for the user point of view okay so maybe when companies are going for hybrid system so like majors their system they, everything they will manage through on premise and uh, cloud access they can take there for their subsidiary companies or their uh, uh, their customers point of view so, so they are c and f for that purpose they can use the cloud but this definitely the fury is much more uh, user friendly compared to your gui of course so the img is not required there if you compare this one you will find uh, like fury is more user friendly so i hope you got clarity some what is about fury in our next video i am going to show you different activities related to uh, fury we are going to perform various transactions we are going to analyze our reports by using this fury and i will create a series on this fury also thank you very much